Who goes there? Show yourself. It's you again, huh? I didn't think you'd show up after last time. Well, maybe you got what it takes to help me. I'm going to be doing the most manly piston extraction you've ever seen. Come and join me. Now let's take a look at the arsenal we'll be using today. To get out the main caps, we got this bad boy. Puts out about 120 PSI per second. And also we're gonna be using a 3 4 inch socket to take out the main caps. We have impact driver with a half inch bit, or socket I should say. Now these, we're gonna be using probably the rubber mallet but you're gonna to wanna to find a thin piece of wood like this because it's gonna, it needs to go down between the pistons and you tap, 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 tap it out. So you want wood or rubber or something hard. Don't do steel. You can if you're really, you know, safe or whatever. And also you're gonna want a screwdriver that you don't really care about. Harbor Freight, a little flathead. Also, you're going to need some sort of a breaker bar or whatever to turn the engine so you can do the pistons. Other than that, pretty good. You might need a little lubrication when things get a little slippery. So, first things first, you're going to want to start with one or five. So, rotate the pistons. So you can get the bolts really good. Easy access, about right here. Let's see. Yeah, probably, probably about there. You want it as straight as you can going through. So this one would be piston number one. Let's do one first. You got a really grimy engine this could be hard sometimes they just pop out with your finger no nope. take a little screwdriver pop it up right there let's see maybe i can do it from this side get in there well, you can just go like that don't be too rough with it but tend to be, there we go. Gotta kind of work it a little bit. This one's getting stuck now. Also sometimes, if you just rotate the engine, you'll see, watch. Come on, come on baby. Sometimes they pop out. This one doesn't want to. So I was sitting there wailing on it. There we go. Just like that. Now let's see. Yeah, these needed. It's pretty worn, a lot of copper. Don't look too bad. Now the thing is. Get it out. Line this as straight as you can. About there. That's good. It's going straight down there. Now take this side. Gotta be long and thin. Actually, it's probably best to stick it from this side. So. Here. Well, that's too thin. Hmm. Well, this will probably work. Tap, tap. Don't get your stick stuck. 
It's also, if you can see, there's a chair underneath here. Have something underneath it because it's going to drop unless you have another buddy. It's going to drop and you're not going to like it. It could potentially break the piston or... There we go. That's up. This needs some... Actually, it doesn't look that bad. These look like new rings. Newer rings. Hmm. But it is grimy. That is pretty sludgy. But uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. Well, as you can see, it's fairly easy. The, some of them give you some trouble. There's gonna be harder ones than others. I mean, sometimes they're a real pain to get off, but you can see you can do it in about 10 minutes. Uh, I'm starting to see some uh, not so savory things, but now let's go remove the end caps, and the main caps, I should say. It doesn't matter what order you, you take them off in. It does matter when you tighten them to do the correct order, you gotta, but that's for another video. But when you take them off, it doesn't matter. Get your impact. Oops. Very simple. Take the bolts out, gives you a little trouble. You don't have to beat on it, but take a rubber mallet, kind of wiggle it out. There you go. Now let's take a look at these. Uh, I've seen worse. They do need to be replaced, but it's not too bad. I think this engine's been in. Somebody's been in this engine. So there you have it. That's pretty much it. Other than that, you just got the crankshaft and you can give it a little, a little love. See if it'll pop out. There we go. And there it is. And there we have it. Pretty much that's all it's done. And now you can inspect what's going on here. I had a freak out because I thought that was a, sometimes you get the camshaft bearings. Oh, I've seen them tear up like this. It was a leaf. Okay. But so far, I don't see any bearings that are bad. That's good. The cam looks pretty good. I might just clean it up with a soft brass brush. Clean it up, take it out. It should just pull out, but you gotta take out the retainer clip. And there we go. Piston, uh, rings all done. Another tip that I will show is organize people. You gotta make sure that when you do this, everything is organized so you don't forget because you don't wanna put these in the wrong sequence. You don't want just willy nilly do everything because these are set in, a, in the position they're supposed to be in for each cylinder. So if you put cylinder five in you know, cylinder one, it's gonna grind and your engine's gonna blow up. So let's not do that. But also check your rings this is C50E, which is 1965. These bearings are the original bearings and yeah, they needed to definitely be replaced. But check these, if you ever open your engine up and you see it like 
ten thousandths over, then you know something's wrong. Then you know they they uh, machine the crank. And so these, so just be careful. Don't just buy your parts willy nilly, because if these if these are a thousandths over, then then you know you're gonna have to get special bearings. And same with these these 1965. These are the original, so they'll be happy. But also, like I said, take a piece of cardboard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Make sure you know which one's which. And it's very easy to, to know which direction because each piston has a notch like that. And that notch faces forward to the engine. So this would be the front of the engine right here. Also, you don't have to, but just keep it nice and neat. You know, they have numbers on it. One, two, three, four, five. But... And they also have a triangle facing that way, so you know which which orientation to do. So yeah, keep it organized. Well, I'd say the battle was hard fought, but I think I took on the challenge and came out the victor. Nobody gets the best of me, not even old Fords.